afternoon, 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Monday, October 17th, 2022. I'm helping Julie here. We are. She's doing her physical therapy, so I stepped outside. It's a little rainy, so you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, I'm on my phone, but I wanted to touch base with not just XRP, but I wanted to touch base on XM as well. XRP is in this pivot levels. And as I talked about earlier, we had this bearish Gartley formation. And the most logical decision was we get rejected here, and then we were going to see if we could hold the 4750. Well, for anybody who's bullish, so we got rejected, but the 4750, we didn't maintain. We fell right through. So that's my main pivot level right now. If we could get a nice back test here, because I believe that looks like a bearish Gartley right there, which means after this move was finished, it was going to reverse back down. Now what we're looking for in my personal and humble opinion, and it could just shoot right through this, ladies and gentlemen. Don't get me wrong. This could just fall right through, and it could just be over. But what I'm looking for is a nice back test here on the 4750 level, and I'm in. I'm going to short it, and then I would have a stop loss appropriately somewhere above 48 cents approximately, above this drop point. Yes, maybe we would have to bring it up to 48.10, but I don't want to hold it all the way to the top of that move. So it would be something within this range, and then you could always get back in at the top and redrop it. So that's what I'm looking at with XRP. I really believe that an opportunity is presenting itself here. For anybody who's copy trading, I apologize, but BitGet on the futures, it's not working anymore because they do buy IP addresses. And my last 11 trades have not gone through on copy trading. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. If you want to know more about the copy trades, all you got to do is join Tom's Army. And the Futures and Leverage Trading Group, this comes with Tom's Army membership. And yes, we have a main Tom's Army group, which is where most people talk. But we also have the Futures and Leverage Trading for anybody who wants to leverage trade. So this is the place to be. So that's one way to understand my trades or anybody else's for that matter. Josh is great. Chris is great. There's a lot of people that are unbelievable in there. So this is what I'm looking at. So I'm looking at this 4750 level. If we can do this, actually, it's about 47.43 in this area. 47. I like the 47.50 area. It just is what it is. So if we get that back toss, that's where I would have. That's where I would try to play a short, and then you could have a. Your first target would be to break this down here at about 47 or 46.90 area, and then if it showed support there, obviously, then that could be your own decision. But I would be anticipating this targeted move down to 45.03 if this bear flag breaks. And now that it broke over here, you could actually say, well, Tom, isn't it going to come just a little bit lower? Yeah, I still like that 45 cent area. So $44.99 is actually what it ends up being from before. So I like that area right there. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm targeting for XRP. And then with XLM, XLM is breaking down as well, just like XRP. And we have a critical line of support that is just below us right now at 1122, and we're at 1137. So logically, 1122 is likely the area that we have to come touch. Now, if you look at the USDT chart, it comes straight through this as well. And you can see this 112, this is 1126. So approximately the 1125 area. I circled up here for an XLM long, and I said up in here would be the sell zone. It came up perfectly there to the accumulation zone before it dumped back down. Now, if we fall below this 200 day, which we have right now, I think we have to come back down here and at least confirm 1125 area. So that's what I'm looking at right now. And then a quick touch on DGB. DGB, God bless DGB. It just can't get back up into this descending triangle, which was the old bear flag. If it gets rejected here, it doesn't even come all the way up there, but I think a logical, it could come up to 904. As long as the market shows that broader support and this doesn't fall through right now, it still feels like to me it could come up to that 904 rejection. That's actually what I've been looking at with DGB for a few days. I just can't trade it on the futures on BitGet because it's not there. And then underneath we have 0875. So that's what I'm looking at for DGB. Make sure you hit that motherfucking like button. I am putting in a ton of work.